So I'm, I'm asking you questions, right? Hey man, it, it can go how, however you want it to go, it's cool. All right guys, we're here, Zildjian Live, season two, with the one and only Matt Burner. <laughs> Matt, how you doing, man? I can't take that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I mean, you. I, I appreciate I that it, intro. I, I could have set it up so much more crazy if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, oh, let, me, let me try it again. Yeah, let's try it again. Guys, we're with the man, the myth, the Don't legend. Say it. Okay, there it is. Grammy Award nominee. <laughs> two two times. Yes, yeah, twice. <laughs> two time nominee. Uh, Matt Griner. I didn't like that any better. I didn't like that. No, one? I didn't like that any it better. Was good. Let's it was just, good. Let's just go with um, my friend Matt. Okay, that's, cool. That's, I'm that's with that too. Uh -huh. <laughs> the one, the only, Matt Griner, and you guys, you ruined my guys, you ruined my intro. I didn't get a chance to say Ghost Note. What the? F Please don't ruin this for me. All right. <laughs> Uh, how you been, man? Everything good? Yeah, it's good. It's good. good. Yeah, it's good. it's really um, an honor to be on this project. You know, I I saw footage of last year yeah. and seeing you know some of the guys, yourself included, play on it was was really cool. And to be out here and actually like I just got done with rehearsal, so like being in the room and looking up and seeing Sput yeah. smiling and like yeah. nodding his head and yeah. telling you what to do. Yeah, mm. I've never worked with a musical director before, mm. so I've never had that. Coach, so talking in your ear. Okay. You know? So let me ask you this: you know, this being a new experience, so kind of like a, a new way. I know that with your band, you guys write the songs typically together, um, or maybe someone will present a song. You guys kind of all work on it together. Yeah. But there's not necessarily like a musical director that says, "I'll play this part," or "We're going to go from here to this section," or "From here to this section," and you kind of have to fill in. Uh, you know, fill in the lines, you know, from there. Like, I don't, you don't normally work that way. So how was no. this uh, working with Sput and his dictation mm -hmm. and direction? How was that for you? Yeah, it's, it's surreal. Mm. I, I've never had someone who wrote a song, sent it to me, said, write drums to it. Mm. He's writing songs for a lot of other drummers, not just me. Yeah. And his musicians are playing on all of those songs, mm. not just mine. Yeah. And they're like on the fly figuring this out. So that's that's one thing. Yeah. Very high echelon, high level playing from the band. But just the fact that you have someone guiding you as you go through the song, yeah. that's not something I'm used to. Mm. Where as you're going, he's saying, okay, right here, two, three, mm. four, Bam. boom, next yeah. part. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. It's so cool because it's not all pre-programmed yeah. and mechanical. There's yeah. that flow to it. Yeah. And I love that. I've never had the opportunity to be a part of something like that. Yeah. So I started the band that I'm in, August yeah. Burns Red, mm -hmm. and everything we've done, we've always done it that way. And it's worked. Yeah. But it's really cool to be uh, doing something different. Yeah. That is also something I've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So you think that maybe some of the things that you've experienced here, you'll take back to the band, or, or maybe some things you'll be able to kind of like uh, take there and, and use that in, in that world that you're in? I mean, I don't know, would it translate over there? I, I don't it, know. If I was spot, I'd be able to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, gotta, um, we gotta work on your hair, bro. We gotta get your hair going. We gotta going. get the hair going, yeah, for sure. And, you know, there's, there's, a lot more than that, unfortunately, we're gonna have to work with. That guy can do everything. I mean, I made the mistake of actually looking him up on YouTube before yeah. this and seeing him play, oh, drums. Yeah, he's uh, he's like a, a Jedi warrior, bro. <laughs> he, he's so proficient in everything. You know, I, I can't give him enough props for being able to um, write the songs, you know, to get the arrangements together, get it to the band, um, make, make sure that you're comfortable, you know, in uh, the things that you play and, and making sure that it all kind of comes together. Like he's, he's yeah, special. He is special. Yeah. I, I will definitely, I've learned a lot through this actually. It's a great, it's a great question because there's, 
a good answer, which is, yeah, I'll yeah. take as much as I can from it cool. um, and use it in my own life because it's new. Yeah. It's new information that I didn't know mm. was out there. Yeah. Talk to me about um, the event itself. Like when you got the call to do this, like what, what were you thinking? Were, were you excited? Were you nervous? I, I was excited. Yeah. I wasn't nervous at all. I haven't been nervous this entire time. Nice, now man. that might change when there's, you know, 50 people in the room and they're they're all people i've looked up on youtube yeah yeah <laughs> and yeah, admire yeah uh, but i actually don't think it will because i've i've prepared for this yeah and also i feel like my plane has has led me to a place where i can walk into a situation that's new and feel feel comfortable with what I had to bring to the table, Very cool. you know, and um, like I said, I'm just honored to be a part of something that has Zildjian's name on it because obviously Zildjian's a part of, you know, my playing in a huge way. I play their symbols. I've yeah. played their symbols, you know, forever, but, but also it feels like a family mm. because it's a company that is ran by people that I care about and I know, mm -hmm. and I really love the company and I, and I want it to succeed. Yeah. So if I'm a part of something that is perpetuating the, uh, their success mm -hmm. and getting their name out in a, in a really professional way, like this event does, you yeah. know, you look around, you see the lights and you see the, the cameras and you, you hear the musicians just like such such professional mm -hmm. people in this room yeah, it is. <laughs> and to be a part of that equation is is so cool like i would be bummed if i wasn't here right now and i knew that i could have been yeah well, i'm sure i'm sure there's a few people that you know <laughs> do wish they could be it's, it's and so they will be next year maybe, next year you know yeah, and then i'll be sitting at home thinking yeah, boy i wish i was, I wish there, I was there you there, know yeah, i'm taking it all in it's, 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 it's tough because you know a company like zildjian has so many amazing artists you know and it's like they can't choose everyone there's only yeah. a certain amount of spots that they're able to choose so to be here definitely is an honor exactly. i'm sure for you but I think it's also an honor for them, you know, that you're actually here, you're able to represent the way that you do, man. It's yeah. So cool. It works both ways, yeah, you know. for sure. For sure. Well, we're definitely glad to have you, man. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing you tomorrow. Yeah. Your tune is killing. <laughs> you sound amazing. Aww. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be super dope. Yeah. Super dope. I'm Thank you so much for your time. Here. Thanks for this interview. Thanks for being here again, guys. Uh, Zildjian Live, Season 2, Matt Griner. Thank you, Aaron. My pleasure, bro. <laughs> I love you. <ya. laughs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>